So we're looking at the concept of imperialism again. And if we took out a dictionary, we'd have something like the domination by a powerful nation of the political, economic, or cultural life of another country or region. And I want you to think about that word domination here for a moment. So that domination could mean that you create an empire and that you actually own their land and you colonize them. But it also can mean that you influence them through something else, such as money or uh, through superior technology and weaponry. And so they kind of have their own independent government, but your country pretty much calls the shots. So a little context here. We've already been studying what's called the old imperialism. Uh, that period from the 1500s to the 1700s, that includes the age of exploration and all those explorers, the mercantile system with triangular trade, the owning of colonies by European nations. So you got to remember that we've already seen imperialism. But now we're getting into what's called the new imperialism of the 1800s and early 20th century. And it's really a result of the Industrial Revolution. Uh, we're going to talk about the importance of raw materials and new markets. But it doesn't necessarily mean you have to own colonies or own the lands that you're dominating. There's several reasons for this new imperialism of the 19th century. Nationalism, social Darwinism, militarism, economic nationalism, and the white man's burden. A number of these terms you've already heard of, and they're very much connected to nationalism as a whole. So think about that. So our first big reason is nationalism, as we know it, pride in one's country. But for European nations, it, it kind of gave them a, a, the excuse to dominate other nations because it gave them a sense of superiority that we are better than other nations, that our culture is greater than other nations, and therefore we have the right to rule over them. Next we have social Darwinism. If you remember biology, Charles Darwin proposed a theory of evolution that said that the, their survival of the fittest species. Well, a lot of Europeans believed that because they had superior technology and success in industry, they were the fittest societies and therefore should rule over up. Next we have militarism, which basically means that European nations had better weapons and therefore smaller nations like Britain could control larger nations such as India and that really gave them kind of an advantage so really just the ability to take over those places was another reason for it. The next reason is economic nationalism. As European nations industrialize they need raw materials to make their finished goods and they're also going to then want to sell these goods to new markets and so Dominating places like India and China are going to really help them get there. So think of some of these examples of raw materials. For example, Britain's going to get tea from China, and they're going to get cotton from India. But also think about these new markets, that they're going to sell opium to China eventually. And they're actually going to take that cotton and make it into textiles to sell to India. Another reason for the new imperialism of the 19th century was a concept called the white man's burden, based on the poem by Rudyard Kipling that you may have read in class. And it was this idea that Europeans felt they had a responsibility to help out the rest of the world. Western Europeans feel it's important that they spread their um, ideas, particularly the political system of democracy and capitalism, the economic system, but also their customs dress, language, traditions, and so on. But lastly, their religion. And, and so you see a lot of Christian missionaries uh, going to these places. So in the Imperialism Part 2 video, we're going to look at some of the specific places that are being imperialized uh, in the 19th century, particularly China, India, and Africa. But we're also t taking note of what's going on with these European nations as well. Created using Powtoon.